All right, last day. What's going on? 100 stars, wiring diagram. Uh, okay. These bi-directional wires? 
It must be. Ugh, oh, why are you doing this to me? How do we do this?
Okay. That's done. How am I doing? Probably fifth. Someone changed places around me. Okay, anyway. What was going on here? So, uh, we are given this graph. Uh, it's pretty much, yeah, quite straightforwardly a graph. And we have for each vertex the list of things that it's adjacent to. Somewhat annoyingly, uh, it says each edge is only given once. Uh, so fine, we need to add sort of edges in both directions. And we want to know uh, if we disconnect three wires, then, so we want to disconnect the wires to cut the graph into two. And what is the product of the groups on the left and the right in that case? So fine. Um, how did we do this? So first, uh, we can read it, you know, read the input into a graph. Uh, this is not actually necessary. I mean, in fact, a lot of the stuff is not necessary. Let me clean this up. So um, this requires uh, a min cut algorithm, um, which is like solving exactly the problem of cutting a graph into two parts with a minimum. Uh, the minimum number of edges. In this case, we're told that the minimum number of edges is three, and we have to find the values on the left and the right. Um, this is not, I do not know off the top of my head how to implement this algorithm. It's like fairly hard to do. Um, so I've just used this library, uh, Network X, which is a graph library that you know I've seen other people use in Python. Um, haven't really used before, but you know, it turned out definitely easier than implementing uh, this thing myself. Um, let's see, S, Y, and Y, S, I don't know, maybe it's better to just, yeah, fine, I can look at that. So, uh, I'm going to parse that into my own version of the import and then, uh, then make that version. So this is going to be my uh, adjacency list, I guess. So for every vertex, what's next to it? And we need to add edges in both directions. And then I need to make the graph sort of according to the library. So you call this add edge function. Um, I believe it needs to be in both directions. Let me check. Um, no. Not 100% sure what's going on there. Um, anyway, so uh, just ask, like, how do we cut this into two pieces? Um, they require you to give two vertices on so, sort of a start vertex and an end vertex. Uh, I think it doesn't really matter what we say as long as there are vertices on both sides of the cut, but how do you do that? Well, I just tried uh, all possible vertices. And in fact, I really only need to iterate over uh, one of them. So what's the point? So we're going to say x, whatever the first vertex is, it doesn't matter, is on the left. And then we search for vertex on the right. Uh, and we try to do a min cut. And if the cut was of size 3, then that must be what we were looking for. And we should print out you know, the product of the two uh, vertices. Um, 
So yeah, I don't know. A little bit disappointing to me to just use a library instead of actually writing it myself. Um, but definitely faster and easier because this is somewhat complicated. Probably the fact that the main code is guaranteed to be three uh, simplifies things a bit. And maybe there's a simpler way to do this, but I don't know. It wasn't immediately obvious to me. I did write up a like very, very brute force solution, but it ran too slow. It's like just trying all sets of three edges, but there's like 3,000 edges, so that's <laughs> a lot of possibilities. Um, Uh, I think those other cases were like, anyway, they were not a cut value three. Uh, so it is possible to sort of guess wrong. Um, so, okay, that is it, uh, I guess, for day 25. There's no part two on day 25. Um, I am fifth on the global leaderboard. <laughs> Very tight race. I'm two points behind uh, number four and what, eight points ahead of number six. Um, so that is all for Advent of Code 2023. Uh, Merry Christmas all.